ABC News apologizes and issues correction for Michael Flynn, hashtag fake news report by Gary Mayer for USA Politics Today. Stocks crash by 350 points on Friday following a report by Brian Ross at ABC News that General Michael Flynn, the former National Security Advisor, would testify that he was directed to make contact with Russians during the presidential campaign in 2016. But on Friday evening, ABC News corrected their explosive special report that aired in the morning saying that Donald Trump, as a candidate for president, had asked Michael Flynn to make contact with Russians. The mistake cost investors billions and it was hashtag fake news. Wow, that is incredible. Brian Ross apologized for the fake news report, Fox News, at the name, as the name of the suspect identified as 24-year-old James Holmes first emerged Friday morning. Ross reported on ABC News that He'd found a web page from a Jim's home, Jim Holmes on Colorado Tea Party site. There is a Jim's home, Holmes of Aurora, Colorado page on the Colorado Tea Party site as well. Talking about him joining the Tea Party last year, Ross reported, he added, Now we don't know if this is the same John, Jim Holmes, but it's Jim Holmes of Aurora, Colorado. That man is not the same Jim Holmes. The Colorado Tea Party Patriots, whose website Ross was looking at, put out a statement criticizing Ross for even floating the possibility, noting that Jim Holmes with the Tea Party group is 52 years old and not the same person. The attempts of some media organizations to characterize the shooter as a Tea Party member without having made any effort to contact our organization are shameless and reprehensible, the group said in a statement. Ross clarified on air Friday as ABC News issued a formal apology. An earlier ABC News broadcast report suggested that a Jim Holmes of a Colorado Tea Party organization might be the suspect, but that report was incorrect. ABC News and Brian Ross apologized for the mistake and for disseminating that information before it was properly vetted, the statement said. On air later in the morning, Ross also said an earlier report that I had was incorrect that he was connected with the Tea Party. In fact, that's a different Jim's, Jim Holmes. He was not connected to the Tea Party, and what we do know about him is he is 24-year-old white male who went to Colorado for a PhD. At least 12 people were killed in the shooting overnight at an Aurora movie theater, while at least 50 were injured. Details are still emerging about the suspect, who is in custody, this was all fake news. ABC News, just in at Brian Ross on ABC News special report. Michael Flynn promised full cooperation to the Mueller team and is prepared to testify that as a candidate, Donald Trump directed him to make contact with the Russians. This, this was not the first time Brian Ross has messed up. Flashback, ABC News, Brian Ross suggests Aurora Shooter James Holm is a Tea Party member, and you know that made them so happy, you know what I'm saying? They want to blame the Tea Party movement. Look. Find something that might be significant. There's a Jim Holmes of Aurora, Colorado uh, page uh, on the Colorado Tea Party site as well, talking about him joining the Tea Party uh, last year. Now, we don't know if this is the same Jim Holmes, but this is Jim Holmes of Aurora, Colorado. Okay, we'll keep looking. <laughs> you see, isn't this terrible? Isn't this terrible? Isn't this terrible? But this was unbelievable because I did report on the uh, market drop uh, 300 points or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, yeah, it went down because of what they said that, that, that Flynn, uh, 
you know, that it's so, it showed that uh, Trump uh, was directing Flynn to do this while it was all, it was, an, it was okayed by Obama, the Obama White House. Unbelievable. What a mess. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.